you guys. I can't believe we have to come out on this cold morning and observe the woods for our science project. Oh, stop whining. We're here to appreciate the Mother Earth. Well, you know, I'd rather be in the mall watching a movie or something. Movies? I love yeah. movies. Oh, wait. Guys, speaking of which, did you guys know that the first movie theater was established in Germany in okay, 1790? Harold, Harold, I'm sick of your nerdiness. Stop it, you guys. Let's just start the science project and get it over with. Oh, the smell of the pine trees reminds me of my favorite Walt Whitman poem. This compost. Oh, was that the transcendentalism one? Yeah. Who's Waldo Whitman? Is oh, he an actor? Oh, wait, I thought he was a politician. No, he's a poet. Oh, oh wait, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, man, I really feel like reciting his poem so bad right now. Whenever I hear his poem, I get these beautiful images in my head. Yeah. Mm. Oh, let's think mm. about it. Something startles me where I thought I was safest. I withdraw from the still woods I love. I will not go now on the pastures to walk. I will not strip the clothes from my body to meet my lover the sea. I will not touch my flesh to the earth as to other flesh to renew me. Oh, how can it be that the ground does not sicken? How can you be alive, you growths of spring? How can you furnish health, you blood of herbs, roots, orchards, grain? Are they not continually putting distempered corpses within you? Is not every continent worked over and over with sour bread? Where have you disposed of their carcasses, those drunkards and gluttons of so many generations? Where have you drawn off all the foul liquid and meat? I do not see any of it upon you today, or perhaps I am deceived. I will run a furrow with my plow. I will press my spade through the sod and turn it up underneath. I am sure I shall expose some of the foul meat. Behold this compost, behold it well. Perhaps every mite has once formed part of a sick person. Yet behold, the grass of spring covers the prairies. The bean bursts noiselessly through the mold in the garden. The delicate spear of the onion pierces upward. The apple buds cluster together on the apple branches. The resurrection of the wheat appears with pale visage out of its graves. The tinge awakes over the willow tree and the mulberry tree. The he birds carol mornings and evenings while the she birds sit on their nests. The young of poultry break through the hatchet eggs. The newborn of animals appear. The calf is dropped from the cow, the colt from the mare. Out of its little hill faithfully rise the potato's dark green leaves. Out of its hill rises the yellow may stalk. The lilacs bloom in the dooryards. The summer growth is innocent and disdainful above all those strata of sour dead. But guys, I'm so confused. I don't understand what this poem's about. What is it about? Well, Susie Q, we'll explain it to you. The first section is just talking about um, his amazement at the regeneration and rebirth of the nature. In the second section, there's montages, like for example, of young poultry and newborn animals that represent rebirth and regeneration. And there is also an example of sibilance, which is right there in the first line. Something startles me where I thought I was safest. Why right? don't they call That's it? Great, Harold. Why don't they call it sisilance? Then there would be s sounds in there. That's that a is, smart idea. That yeah. is so yeah. smart. Susie. I just realized that. Oh wait. Susie. Susie. Yeah. Susie. Shaniqua. Shaniqua. That doesn't really count though, because oh. there's, there's a sh sound, not really an s sound. Well, anyhow, that was an example of sibilance. What else is there? What other poetic characteristics cool. are there? In the second section, um, it has the balance of, gen of genders, where it says, the he-birds carol mornings and even evenings while the she-birds sit on their nests. That's a Whitman characteristic, it right? Is. Also, there's juxtaposition, for example, in the second section. Whitman says, the summer growth is innocent and disdainful above all those strata of sour dead. What does strata mean? Where exactly does that say? <laughs> Wanna Google it up, guys? Yeah, let's go to Google. Maybe maybe it means like like layers. Maybe. Like like the layer. Yeah, I think the you're right, Susie Q. Very good, oh, Susie Q. Susie Q, I'm so proud of you. You know, I think I get this poem. I sort of understand it now. Thank you so much, guys. Do you? No well, problem. Do you know what juxtaposition is? Juxtaposition is when the two images next to each other contrast. Exactly. And where, you know, where can you, you find know, one of those? Oh, oh. Right there, at the, 
here's a new one right here at the end of the first section. Let this us go. This guy is talking Please. about how he has the furrow of his plow and how nice farming he is and how he's going to go through this, the sod and all that and then he's talking about foul meat all of a sudden. <gasps> That's very cool. That, that is a juxtaposition. Okay. You, know, you. you know, I feel like I feel like my soul knows this poem now, and like I might be able to finish it for us. Wow. Really? Are you yes. gonna recite it for us? I can, I can. Alright, let's mm. go. What chemistry that the winds are really not infectious. That this is no cheat, this transparent greenwash of the sea, which is so amorous after me. That it is safe to allow it to lick my naked body all over with its tongues that it will not endanger me with the fevers that have deposited themselves in it, that all is clean forever and forever, that the cool drink from the well tastes so good, that the blackberries are so flavorous and juicy, that the fruits from the apple orchard and of the orange orchard, that melons, grapes, peaches, plums, none of them will poison me, that, that when I recline on the grass, I do not catch any disease, though probably every spear of grass rises out of what was once a catching disease. Now I am terrified at the earth. It is a calm and patient. It grows such sweet things out of such corruptions. It turns harmless and stainless on its axis with such endless successions of diseased corpses. It distills such exquisite winds out of such infused fetter. It, it renews, renews with such unwitting looks its, its prodigal, prodigal annual sumptuous crops. It gives such divine materials to men and accepts such leavings from them at last. Wow, I'm so glad we did this in the woods. I know, me too. I'm so glad our science project is out here. I love poetry! I love Waldo Whitman! Susie Q. Walt Whitman! Oh, sorry. Yay! <laughs>